Oh. Oi. Who asked you in? You stop that. Oh, grab it. Hi, greetings all, and welcome back to Globitz Gaming Channel. Got a replay for you today, uh, sent in by Beanie. Okay, as you can see there, he's one of mine. Okay, and he's in the M46 pattern on Redshire. Now, he's got blue stats. Um, he's got a 55% win ratio, ratio. Put my teeth back in. 1858 WN something. 8, I think. And also 16K games. <coughs> now, a lot of people ask me, how can I get better at playing World of Tanks? Um... Also, how do I get good stats? My stats are very, very similar to Beanie's. I haven't played as many games as him. Uh, slightly better win rate, slightly lower WN8. But the thing is, I've been thinking about this myself. It's all about positive mental attitude. Okay. Now, Beanie sent an email with this replay. And it's what he put in the email that decided to... Uh, made my decision to basically host this particular game, to feature this game. Now, <coughs> I'll read you the first paragraph. I thought I had no chance according to XVM, so I just wanted to do my best and boost my WN8. I never dreamed to boost it by so much. So as you can tell, he's going to have a pretty good game. And now even at this level, he's not content, he wants to do well. Um, according to him, he's probably got the percentage win chance, and it's probably quite low because of the blue players on the enemy team. Um, he thought he had no chance, he just thought, screw it, I'm going to do the best I can. That's how you get better at World of Tanks, guys. Um, I can't emphasise it enough. You just need to try in every single game that you play, try to do the best you can. Also, it helps to have some decent machines as well. Uh, in this case, he's driving the M46 pattern, which I actually quite like. Um, it's not considered one of the best, or anywhere near one of the best, uh, tier 9 medium tanks. Uh, but it does have some redeeming features. Now, why is it not considered one of the better ones? Well, its gun is not... Well, if you're used to Russian guns, this thing is going to seem like an absolute pig to you. But it has had a buff recently. Alright, it's a four, it's 390 Alpha gun. Alright, with the standard rounds, 218mm penetration. What does this mean? Well, if you're shooting at scouts and stuff, it's more than adequate. If you're shooting at the sides of heavies and things, it's more than adequate. What you struggle with, though, is engaging enemy heavies head-on. Then again, if you think about it, medium tanks aren't designed to do that. What are they designed to do? They're designed to be flankers. They're designed to be, you know, annoying, harassing tanks. Well, this thing can do that. It's reasonably mobile. It's got a pretty good turn rate, a good turret traverse. It's got good ground resistance. And it's got really good gun depression. The gun's garbage. Well, it's not garbage. It's garbage by T-54 standards, for example. Um, it's garbage by Leopard PTA standards. You know, with regards to its penetration. But if you're shooting at the right things, you know, and doing your job properly, and you've got a team to support you, you really can do well in this vehicle. Now, he's using the zoom out mod there, as you can see, to have a bit of a look see over the hill. He's just thinking about placement at this stage. Okay, he can't go around that corner there. He's trying to get shots on the 5100, and now he's got them. Yeah, bang, straight through the front plate. Not a problem at all, but it's French. Okay, not really anything to shout about. Now we can. Now it's game on. We've been spotted. So the enemy know we're here. Now it's game on. We can think about moving now. That T-44 is under more pressure than he wants to contend with. He's on half health already. More about him later. He does become a problem later on. But he is taking absolute paste in for his troubles. Can we get a shot on him? Yes, we can. Reducing him to 134 health. But a couple of really high rolls as well. <laughs> 470 is about not far off maximum. Um, I don't know 100% what the maximum for a 390 alpha gun. If somebody wants to put that in the comments, that'd be great. I think you're allowed 25% each way. So do the maths. So it's not far off. So now what we're going to do is put pressure on this poor old stock centurion. <laughs> that guy. Oh, bless him. Is he using the 17 pounder? Yes, it looks like he's using either the 17 or the first 20 pounder. He's got the upgraded. No, he hasn't got the upgraded turret. Or has he? I can't see. Let's see. Has he got the upgraded? Oh, yes, he's got the upgraded turret. It looks like the Type A rather than the Type B. So not too bad an issue. Oh, ST8. Hello. Managed to get a shot into us. Did do a great deal of damage. Not a high alpha gun, that one. Or rate of fire base than alpha. But we've got friends. Problem is we've also got a T-34 in the distance and all the camping tank destroyers. So yeah, we can keep working the flank. We can keep working. And if you notice the team scores 3 out of 3. We've just lost another one. But we're not doing too bad considering Beanie thought he was going to lose horribly. Um, the team seems to be holding its own. The uh, the right flank's not doing very well. The 9-0 line looks like it's going to crumble. But we've got managed to get flank shots around these guys. 
Now, this is where the pattern gun lets itself down. This gun is not going to go through an upper angled Yag Tiger plate. Yag Tiger top plate, no chance. And now the Yag Tiger, you've basically poked him with a stick. <laughs> He's not happy now. So, what do we do? Well, we switch to the premium ammunition. Just to give you an idea, when he fires his next round, as we can see here, straight through. Did that go straight through, or did it? No, it hit the uh, thing. We've got 265 mm penetration. Now, there are some tier 9 medium tank guns. Centurion 7-1, I'm looking at you now, with more than that on its standard. Alright, it fires that standard, ar that armour-piercing ammunition, pretty much as standard. We have to pay extra gold for that in the pattern, but do we care? No, of course we don't. Alright, we can still manage to switch to it. Now, does this promote better gameplay from a pattern driver because of his gun? Maybe, I don't know. But now we switch back to the standard ammunition. There you go, there's another little tip. Know what you're shooting at. Learn the enemy tanks, yeah. That T-34 fires and misses. We know he's got a stupidly long reload. At best, it's going to be 12 and a half seconds. Well, our reload's around about the seven and a half second mark. So we might even be able to get two shots into him here, depending on his crew set up and his modules. Wouldn't risk it, though. All right, I wouldn't risk it. I'm just gonna, there we go. We managed a bit of a glitch in the replay there, but that was awesome. All right, an awesome little snapshot there from Beanie. That was a low roll, though. We've started to low, roll low. R and Jesus is not smiling. 4.52 is pretty good though. <laughs> I'll do. And we're just working this T-34 over. This should be the coup de grace. Yeah, he's basically took that guy down from full health by using our gun depression. Now, Beanie openly admits he's about to make a catastrophic mistake here. Um, we've got them on the run, basically, and you'll see why in a minute. Got them absolutely on the run. Just going to go along the hill... Making sure there's nothing there, there's no artillery in this game, so there's nobody camping at the back waiting to take pot shots. We start knocking trees down. Then we crest the hill. Now, if you see that. <laughs> yeah. That Legion guy is pretty good. And that turret's not quite facing us. I would have gone for a snapshot here. However, watch. This is he fully admits this is his first mistake. He looks at the T30. Aims in on the... T oh, managed to go big old chunk of his health away. Okay, that T-30 snapshots him. All right, managed to take nearly half his health down. Now, problems. So, readjust. Don't dwell on the mistake. Relocate. Okay, and what we're going to do now is going to pop that tree down. Try to look for a bit of a... Make ourselves a bit of a nest. However... Oh, ISU! There we go! Beautiful! We've been spotted. It won't have been the ISU that spotted you, though. Or will it? I don't know. Oh, T-44 shooting at us. Remember him? Yeah, he's back. Or oh, blind shot. Good blind shot. I think that took uh, some health off the ice. Now he's being pushed by the T-30. Now he decides to run away. All right. Now, unfortunately, with driving uphill like this, he's not going to be able to get away in time. What would I have done differently here? There's not a lot you can do. I would have probably used this dead tank here as cover for the T-30. But we try and make a break for it. Unfortunately, T-30 spots us and plants a shell Ooh, right up our ass. Now, thankfully, we've got a uh, premium fire extinguisher. Otherwise, that would have been dead. All right. So, thankfully, the old uh, missions and whatever else he's been doing managed to grant him some uh, premium fire extinguishers. All right, he's managed to uh, save his ass there. Now, we've got a bit of an issue here. It's 10-10. Our base is open. We've got two camping tank destroyers. Now, Beanie's doing the right thing here. He spotted the threat to the cap, okay? And this is what people don't do. And also, you don't have time to do a World of Warships, but more about that later. Um, he's looking at the map. Now, he notices this T-44, and he needs to help out the T-20. Because the T-20 is getting basically got a Tier 8 and a Tier 9 tank destroyer and a Tier 8 medium tank against him. And those of you who know about the T-20, you know it's not that good a tank. It's a shocking vehicle, really. I absolutely hated it. Uh, but the T-20 decides to throw more caution to the wind and rush the T-44. We fire a shot anyway. But unfortunately, all right, the, man, the other shell managed to land before we managed to kill him. Okay, so the T-20 managed to take out the T-28 prototype and we see the Yag Tiger. Now, check this guy's health. Now, Beanie didn't really pay attention to his health. Now, the Yag Tiger's in the cap. All right, now he pauses and doesn't go rushing forward. Because he wants to know where the M103 is. Um, because both of them were last spotted heading down towards this particular area. Now, if they're both together, the M103 could be lying in wait for anybody trying to reset the Yag Tiger. OK. 
Okay, so that's why he's being a bit cautious here. He checks his tiger friend. Tiger's on a one-shot health. But there's the M103. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to think about resetting the cap. We know he's behind that house. Okay, we need to pick a route. Now what we need is a hill between us and the Yag Tiger. And this is where Beanie makes his second mistake. He approaches the house. Okay, we can see, yep, there's the house. There's some bushes between us. We need to get that hill between us and the Yag Tiger. Unfortunately, this is where Beanie admits his error. He thought the Yag Tiger was on a lot lower health than what he is. He goes around the corner, spots the Yag Tiger, shoots and hits him. He thought he could one shot him. He thought he was on low enough health. He thought he was on 400 and something, and he threw caution to the wind. What could we have done differently? Well, it would have been better to go over to that hill there, but again, coulda, woulda, shoulda. All right, it was a mistake. Yeah, and he honestly admits that. And unfortunately, that's the end of that. The T30 is taking out the T71, and this Tiger, well, he's not exactly going to do very well against a entrenched camping Yag Tiger, is he? Let's be honest. Especially when he's following exactly the same route as his teammate, who's just died. <sighs> if only he'd have penetrated. We could have won. But never mind. Such is life. Let's check the post-game stats out then. There we have it. Not often I show defeats. Um, but when you get a mastery badge for doing it, <laughs> it's, for me, that was worth watching. All right, more to, more to the point for the mental attitude that Beanie showed in that maturity he showed in that replay um he played to his best ability yeah and he freely admits that yes he made a couple of errors but don't we all all right but the main thing about it was he tried his best at no point did you see him whinge did you also see those other guys in the chat whinging tell him the tiger's a bot well instead of calling the tiger a bot maybe what you could have done was trying to guide him to where he needs to go maybe give him a hint you know just saying anyway <coughs> mastery badge yep five for effect bruiser Confederate, high caliber. Now, high caliber, I believe, gives us courageous, resi courageous resistance, which basically has allowed us to get a base XP of 13 and 1341. Now, is that base experience or is that with courageous resistance? I'm not sure. If it is with courageous resistance, he's done better than anybody in the game. Okay, even the enemy team didn't have anywhere near his base experience, or in my case, in my opinion, his performance. That T30 was kind of fed, okay? <laughs> he just basically blatted things uh, with his big 750 alpha damage gun. I think Beanie did absolutely amazing there. And had he been backed up by a team that was a little bit better than this, I mean, come on, guys. It's tier 8 and tier 9. You need to be doing more freaking damage than this. That's ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, positive mental attitude. And eventually, you'll end up with stats like Beanie. Take care of yourself, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, that's another thing. How do you like the new intro? Comments below. Take care, guys. Laters.